which uh, uh, thick and dense with uh, civic support, civic uh, relationships. And as part of that uh, uh, community, we get a lot of support. First, we have brand new music, Hot Off the Presses, by local composer Karen Peace. Karen comes to composing a little later in her life, but there's a beautiful and authentic voice to what she does that makes us very excited to play her music. We premiered her Requiem back in uh, spring, and so it's wonderful to have a, a, an instrumental piece. Dawn and the Phoenix is really about renewal, which is how we think of tonight. The old legend of the phoenix deciding that it's time for change and setting its nest on fire and diving into it and emerging as something brand new. And it's a common legend in many cultures around the world, but unlike, for example, the firebird legend Stravinsky, grandeur at the end, Karen, I think very beautifully, opts for just peaceful soaring after the transformation. It's a beautiful piece.
Stand up. Stand up. The opening piece on the program is by a living composer. Isn't this wonderful? We started with a piece tonight by a composer who was then a living composer and was quickly forgotten. And I was saying, you know, it's sort of unfortunate that we don't pay more attention to living composers. Karen Peace lives right here in Colorado Springs. She's a wonderful composer. Um, about a year ago, her, her study of the Requiem text, was it about a year ago? Almost exactly. Almost a year ago. was played by the uh, Chamber Orchestra of the Springs in a wonderful concert. And tonight, we're going to hear a piece that she wrote just for this concert, for the opening of the season. And it's really beautiful. Um, the title of the piece is, uh, uh, the title of the piece is, is it just, just Phoenix. Uh, Dawn and the <coughs> Phoenix. It went through some uh, iterations yeah. before we get to What that. I wanted to do was just play one or two little sections for you, and then she's going to tell you what, what really was the inspiration, what's going on in this piece. Do we have time to do one more? You know, maybe we don't. Maybe we should just talk. Okay. Or, or do you want, it, uh, do you want you, people to hear the, the, um, oh, just, uh, the Phoenix part? This yeah, part? just just a little bit of that. That would be nice. In the middle, there's a part. <coughs> Might come in kind of loud. This will come. <laughs> this is going to start right around in here. <laughs> time I couldn't even say my name. So um, if, if you see me struggling for a word and you know what I'm getting at, just yell out. <laughs> really, it'll, it'll help me out. Uh, uh, my background, background uh, I was a software engineer, um, um, legally disabled, uh, autoimmune and all kinds of fun things. I struggle with energy. But composing is wonderful because I can do it when I have the energy at any time in the middle of the night. Uh, so, but software engineering was my original, it's very similar. Uh, software engineering, composing, I find very, very similar. It uses both sides of the brain. Um, and I do not have a music degree. Uh, that and my, uh, my uh, strange fashion sense has uh, uh, risen, risen uh, a lot of very funny, uh, um, I wish I had time, but <laughs> some very un, uh, uh, funny um, anecdotes. Um, well, uh, I just make some uh, quick notes. What Composing e equals intellect and passion, and you uh, were talking about, Michael, about um, mm, the intellectual part, uh, and of course the passion, for me both of those are very important. Um, and composing is balancing risk taking and control. Any art, uh, uh, you know, look at, look at the sonnets uh, of Shakespeare or um, if I'm trying to take a risk, I'm trying to say something new, which of course that's to me, that's the reason to 
try to write something, you have something to say, and hopefully in a way that is new and interesting to your audience. But the, 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 the control part, uh, I don't want to write something that's so new that there is not an iota in that piece that, and uh, I'm going to, okay, this is the stroke. <laughs> I want to write something that has enough that people can uh, relate to it, enough, and enough new so that it is not just old hat. Um, the other, <laughs> I wrote, the other companion in the arts. Rilke, the Rilke is a ger German poet, a wonderful poet, and also a uh, other composers that I've talked to living and uh, um, maybe not, you know, that I'd read about. The Other, The Muse, Divine Inspiration, etc., etc. You can call it what, what you will. But uh, I, I also and other composers have talked about, oh, you're sitting there and, you know, you're very focused and, and there's somebody sitting.